Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. So you can see here I have this wall and it has a surface pattern on it. So I'm going to show you how to create a surface pattern very similar to a CMU surface pattern. So if I select this wall, let's do brick on CMU. Here's our CMU surface pattern. Let's say you want like metal panel or something like that. Um, <clears throat> it's actually pretty easy to make a surface pattern. Uh, if you read the post, I have a lot of information on it. I just wanted to show you in video form real quick. Um, how simple it is. So here I have Notepad open, and I'm just gonna open up uh, dot the Revit dot default dot pattern file. So I'm gonna go to local disk, uh, program files. I have this uh, folder path on the website. Uh, Autodesk, Revit architecture, data, and down here you want to say all files. So you want to open Revit, or if you're in metric, obviously Revit metric. Now you're going to open this default path file. And you can see here's a bunch of, uh, bunch of text in here. Um, I use some of this for the post down here. It's actually explaining how to use it. But what we're going to do is create a quick, quick um, uh, 24 by 144 running uh, metal panel like I showed you in the post. So I'm just going to take this section, which is just an 8 by 8 block, and I'm going to copy and paste it. So I just copied and pasted it right here, and I'm going to rename it uh, Metal Panel. You can call it 24 by 144. You can really call it whatever you want. So 24 by 144 running. I don't know, block running or running metal panel or something like that. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're just going to edit some of these let some of these uh, some of these variables down here. Now I showed you in the post a graphic form of this, a table. Seems to be a little easier to understand, but you can sort of see the table in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across and I'm going to give this a 24, I believe. I should actually check my table first. I apologize. Okay. Um, so this is going to be your vertical line, I mean horizontal lines, I believe. And now we're going to do the vertical line. So 90 degrees. Uh, we go across the X and the Y, and this is going to be 24, oh, look at that, sorry about that, 24, 144, 24, and negative 24. Um, I would explain this in the video, but I explained it pretty easily in the post, so I just wanted to show you how exactly you edit it and save it. So I'm going to say File, Save. I'm going to say you want to make sure you uh, click all files and you want it to be revit.pat otherwise it'll save it as a notebook file so save here up oh, it's read only so call it revit whatever you want and once you actually load it into the oh, that's weird all right well let's save it wherever you need for some reason it's not, let, not letting me save in that directory, but that's okay. We'll just save it to my desktop here, Revit TRK. Uh, make sure you save .pat, save. So now we just save this path file. And once you load it into your family and save it, it actually exists in the family and don't need to carry that path file you created all over the place. So now to import it, um, you do a different, couple different ways. You can go to manage and materials, or you can go to your actual material uh, wall and then go to materials. I'm going to go to manage and click materials and I'm going to create a new material uh, let's base it off of metal panel Why not? duplicate it ready yet? let's use metal panel and simply go to surface pattern click the uh, browse button here um, I want it to be model because we created model lines as you can see from the post and we're going to say new and now under new we're going to go to custom call it metal panel 24 by 144 and right here we're going to click import now when we import we just want to import that pat file and what it's going to do is it's actually going to import everything in there so realistically you could have copied, copied this to a new notebook and um, you won't get all the all the other pat files but all we're looking for is one so if you say import it brings in all these pat files and I believe ours was called metal panel. There it is right there. Metal panel 24 by 144. Import scale is going to stay 1 inch. So this way you have an exact scale. Click OK. Click OK. Click Apply. 
and click OK. Now this wall, we're just going to edit the material of it. Go to Edit the Structure. So we want to be on the masonry brick or the <coughs> oh yeah the masonry brick. And let's change this material to our metal panel material. Click OK, OK, and OK. Now you see we've got this metal panel, and this will grow with our wall, grow this way with our wall. And because we made it a, a surface pattern, a model of surface pattern, we can actually select pieces of it and move the entire pattern around, vertically and horizontally. So I hope this helps you guys out. And please send me some emails, leave some comments. Have a good day.